Cyber Monday is only a day away, and Indiana's Attorney General is warning of the potential dangers of online shopping. Taylor Johnson spoke with those planning to take advantage of those Cyber Monday deals. She joins us with their own online shopping experiences and how they say they're working to protect themselves this holiday season. Taylor. Nicole, Indiana Attorney General Curtis Hill says scams and theft around the holidays continue to be a threat, and it's more important for Hoosiers to take caution when making online purchases big or small. I'm an LL Bean in a Land's End. Embarrassingly, <laughs> it's, I usually shop on Amazon on Cyber Monday. December 2nd marks Cyber Monday, one of the biggest online shopping days of the year. And when it comes to Cyber Monday, there are many things that make it easy for shoppers. Uh, online shopping for me is very convenient because it's delivered to my front door and I don't have to carry it to the car or stumble to get it in. While getting packages sent directly to your doorstep is seen as convenient, Indiana Attorney General Curtis Hill says securing our deliveries from porch pirates or those stealing packages from porches is important. Another thing to be aware of is compromised bank cards. So I have had cards get compromised. Um, it doesn't stop me from shopping online. Yes, it's been compromised, but it hasn't stopped me from doing it again. When using a credit card for purchases, the Attorney General says to always review statements and work closely with your bank. Um, I check my banking pretty much every day, so if I notice something that's not right, then I immediately call my bank. Or I've had credit cards that um, have called me as well if they think something seemed out of sorts and take any extra steps you can to stay protected. We do have um, different securities in place on our laptops too, so that kind of keeps us, I guess, more comfortable with shopping online. Attorney General Hill adds that online purchases should not be made while using a public Wi-Fi connection. And if you see a deal that feels too good to be true, it most likely is. Nicole? Thank you for that report, Taylor. If you believe you've been subjected to a scam, you can file a complaint with the Indiana Attorney General's Consumer Protection Division.